Welcome back to the shop. My next project is going to be replacing this tool with a newer version, hopefully a better version. What this is, is the carriage stop for my lathe. I actually made this seven or eight, oh no, it's been more than that, maybe almost ten years ago, on the milling attachment that I had at the time for my lathe. Um, so how this works is, as you can see here, this has got a socket head cap screw at the top that you know raises and lowers the clamps, and that's what clamps it fast here to the ways. And then on the front, it's got two other smaller set screws, which you can use to reposition the dial indicator if you want, or you can adjust this hard stop. And the hard stop's just a three-eighth of an inch drill blank. So one of the reasons why I want to replace this, well a couple reasons, is um, you got to have two different Allen keys to adjust it and maneuver it, which is kind of a pain because you always got to get them out. Um, so what I'm going to do is, instead of using these, take them out here. I've got two little um, knurled screws, which I can use, which are very similar. And then I'm going to redesign this, so instead of having a socket head cap screw, I've got to adjust from the top. There's also some issues, you know, I get, since my lathe takes little tiny cuts, I get little tiny chips in here and you've got you to gotta dig them out sometimes just so you can adjust it, it's just annoying. So, I've got a, a bigger knurled nut here, but I'm going to redesign this so that it, it pulls down from the bottom, you know, you screw in from the bottom and it tightens up and this should be more than enough, you know, enough force that it'll hold it in place. And then the other thing I'm going to do is, let me take this off of here. Right here across the face that sits right across the front of the, the V-Way, I'm going to put two rare earth magnets. Because what happens right now is when you loosen the big, the top, larger locking socket head cap screw, the whole thing just wants to fall off the way because it's not a tight fit. So. I'm going to hopefully, I've done some checking, I think having a two socket head cap, uh, um, two rare earth magnets right here should hold it in place, you know, so that it won't fall off. You can, you know, you can tap it to adjust it forward or back if you need to, and then just this nut on the bottom should screw it down tight so then it won't move, you know, no matter, no matter how hard you hit the hard stop. So the first step is to take this chunk of 7075 and machine a blank out of it or in this case, a bandsaw blank out of it, and then rough it the size. So that's what I'm going to do now. So I've applied some dicum and then marked off with a, I think I gave a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch extra on the size that I need. So just got to line this up and then turn the saw on. And I'm going to walk away and probably go inside. I don't know, sit down and watch some television because this is going to take a decent amount of time on this. I mean, this block is three, three and a half inches wide and I think one uh, five eighths thick. So on this little tiny saw, it's going to be, it's going to cut at this for a while. So part way through the second cut last night, the bandsaw blade broke. As you can see here, you can kind of see where I went this morning, got a new one put in, and the different blades and the different wear patterns caused the thing. But it's done, rough cut. I'm gonna put it in the vise here. I'm gonna try and um, square up the sides a little bit, clean them all up. I don't. I ordered some screwy balls, but they're not here yet. So we're just gonna do it the old-fashioned way. Or hope that, let's put it this way, we're going to hope that it's all, we'll get it pretty close to square. I really don't need to hammer it down, it's probably just force of habit.
You guys probably won't hear much once I turn this on, but gotta run down, touch off, figure out how high we are, and then take a pass. Side is cleaned up. Now clean everything out. Make sure there's no chips down there. Flip it over. Do the same thing to the other side. So I've got four of the sides cleaned up, and now I just need to clean up the two ends here. So this is a seventh eighth, seven eighth of an inch rougher. That's long enough, so I'll just turn this on, touch off, find out where I'm at, and then clean it up.
So it's roughed in. I'm now taking a bunch of finishing passes, bringing it down to the right, the right. In this case, I'm doing the width. Then I still have to do the the height and the um, the width. So we'll see how this goes with some uh, aluminum spe specialized aluminum cutting fluid on it. See in there, you can see the, you guys see that? Yeah, you can see it there. You can see the surface finish. It's okay. Actually, I think, because these are aluminum inserts and this is only a one and a half inch face mill, and this mill only goes to just shy of 2,000, it's not actually generating enough surface feet per minute for these inserts. But I plan on getting a two and a half inch one or maybe even a three inch one to dedicate just to aluminum and then use this one for steel. But the only thing left to do on this is to finish the ends. I'm not sure how I want to do that yet. I don't know if I want to, I want to turn it up on end and then face it, or if I want to use a, an end mill. I don't think I have any any long enough, any at least any finishing end mills long enough to do this. So I'll have to go and check. The only end mill that I have that's long enough to mill this, regardless of whether I lay it down on its side or stand it up on its bottom, is that roughing end mill I used earlier. I'd like to get a little bit better finish in this. I mean, it doesn't need any better finish, but I want to try. So I'm going to take um, 
This is just one of my woodpecker triangles. I mean, it's just aluminum, anodized aluminum. It's supposed to be squared within a thousandth of an inch a foot, so I find that, I don't think it's quite that good, but it should be more than close enough for this, so. Get it in here and get it close. So the block's finished, I've got it all to dimension. Here's the, uh, the original. As you can see, it'll fit in there a little bit. I'm gonna make it a little bit longer, just a hair, because this one was just a throw it in the machine and just go to work. So it's not really, every dimension's an odd one. So this has got more standard dimensions, so it's, it's a little taller, a little longer, same thickness though. 